is in this tutorial just want to tell you about the basics of this dig points text file this is the, the uh, minimum requirement in order to register an atlas to a subject if you've digitized uh, 5, 10, 20 uh, landmarks on the subjects, you'll be able to register the atlas to the subject. So this is just a text file. Uh, you can edit this and create this in any uh, text editor. I'm just using MATLAB here. And uh, you can see it has just a list of 3D coordinates uh, with labels. So you have labels and your 3D coordinates. Uh, these 3D coordinates we obtain from using a Polymus uh, 3D digitizer. You could use whatever 3D digitizer you want as long as you have access to these uh, 3D coordinates. So we've uh, uh, digitized the positions of uh, NZ, AR, AL, CZ, and IZ. Um, those 5, 10, 20 landmarks are the minimum required in order to uh, register the Atlas to the subject. At the same time, we've also digitized the coordinates of source 1, source 2. Our probe had up to 12 sources. Uh, we've also registered uh, the detectors. Our probe had 32 detectors. Uh, so this is just showing you the labels you use for sources and detectors and the 1020 points uh, and, and the format of the dig points text file. 